Hi, I'm Nelson Searcy, lead pastor of the Journey Church here in New York City and the founder of Church Leader Insights. And I'm here for the second installment of our monthly book reviews. And I tried this last month for the very first time, and we had a great reaction from the churchleaderinsights.com family. So I appreciate everyone who wrote me and told me how much you appreciated this video podcast. So to this, uh, this podcast, I have two more book reviews for you. And uh, these are books that we're featuring in our churchleaderinsights.com newsletter, which if you're not a subscriber, you'll want to go to the website churchleaderinsights.com and sign up for. And we're also featuring in them this month on the blog. And so the first one I want to recommend, uh, I have to admit, is the one that I'm very biased toward uh, because the author of this book is a good friend of mine. He's a coaching alumni. He's been through two regular coaching networks with me. He's helped me lead a regular coaching network, and then he is also an advanced coaching graduate, and his name is Bob Franquist, and this book is called Zero to Sixty, and you probably can't see this here, but he had a really, really intelligent, uh, good-looking, uh, handsome guy write the foreword for this book, and so, yeah, I wrote the foreword, as you might have imagined, but uh, Bob is the lead pastor of uh, Calvary Fellowship down in Miami, Florida. Great area of the country to do a church, and uh, there's a great connection between New York and Miami, so I've had a great uh, time getting to know Bob. What he does in this book, Zero to Sixty, is he gives us 60 principles for church leadership. And uh, what I like about this book is it's one of those books that uh, is really easy to read. Uh, you can read a chapter. Each chapter is only two or three pages, but then you walk away with a very practical application. So let me tell you what Bob's done. Bob's looked back over his last number of years in ministry since starting Calvary uh, Fellowship, and he's asked himself, well, what did I do right, and then what did I not do so right? And then he writes those up in this book, Zero to Sixty. And so you can order that online at Amazon.com. Highly encourage you to read it. It's a great book for your pastor's network uh, to read. It's a great book for you to give to a pastor friend. And I just really think you're going to learn a lot from Bob's mistakes as well as his successes. And you know, somebody said one time, there's two ways to learn. You learn from your own mistakes or you learn from the mistakes of others. And it's a whole lot easier to learn from the mistakes of others. So Bob's done us a great service with this book, Zero to Sixty. Now, on the other hand, I have another book that is a classic book, and I do not know these authors at all, although uh, I'm a big fan of this book. It's back out in its third edition, and I read the first edition probably 20 years ago, and it's been a part of my uh, library for a long time, and I just recently reread uh, this third edition, and the book is called Messages, and the subtitle is The Communication Skills Book, and so it's called Messages, The Communication Skills Book, and the authors, uh, the authors are Matthew McKay. Martha Davis and Patrick Fanning, and uh, they're all uh, professors of communication at various schools around the country, uh, mainly out in California. And uh, I really recommend this book to you because, number one, we're in the communication business, uh, so you should always try to improve your communication. Number two is this book goes beyond just the spoken word when it comes to communication. It gets into some pretty interesting areas. In fact, one area that you may not think of as communication that I've marked here is an area about how to fight fair. And, uh, you know, when you're in communication, particularly when you're communicating with a team, maybe it's a staff team, or you're communicating with uh, perhaps an elder board or a deacon team, uh, sometimes the finding's not always fair. And uh, he identifies uh, when it's unfair. He says it's unfair to fight when there's bad timing. Have you ever had somebody try to approach you about a subject that you really wanted to deal with, but it was just really bad timing? And then he gets into blaming. Uh, you can't fight fair when anybody's blaming. When they're trying to deal with too many issues, you know, a person comes to you with a dozen things they don't like about your church or about your leadership or about your sermon, you can't deal with that. Uh, when you're trying to cover other feelings with anger, you know, a person's really mad at you, but you know deep down it's really a hurt. And then when there's impossible demands, when there's threats and ultimatums, or when it escalates beyond just uh, an appropriate conversation around the table. It also talks about unhappy endings and some other issues related to unfair fighting. And then he talks about, as a communicator, how do we manage this? And so I found this book not only helpful for my speaking ministry and for my uh, preaching ministry and even for my writing ministry, but I also found it very helpful for managing staff and for communicating to the various teams uh, that I deal with. So it's a very, very comprehensive book on communication. Now, uh, some of the uh, research in here is as fresh as last year, but some of it's pretty dated, but it's classic stuff on communication that I think any pastor needs to know. And they say this on the back of the book, effective communication for every situation. And so I recommend this book to you. It's a book that our executive team here at The Journey, we're studying right now. And then our pastors, uh, all of our pastors on staff, we're going to be studying this uh, this year as well. And so the book is Messages, the Communication Skills Book. 
by McKay, Davis, and Fanning. And then the other book that I recommend to you is by my good friend and all-around good guy, and I would say church leader, uh, very insightful church leader by the name of Bob Franquez, F-R-A-N-Q-U-I-Z, Franquez, and then the book is called Zero to Sixty, and uh, yours truly wrote the foreword to that book, so I'm a little bit biased on that. But both of these are good books this month, so happy reading. All leaders are readers. And so we'll see you next month uh, for another installment of the churchleaderinsights.com video book recommendation blog. Thanks for joining us.